All right, Fishaholics, welcome back. My name is Rich, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that like button at the end if you enjoy. Also, best way to support the channel is by picking up some Fishaholic merch. And uh, today we are in the kitchen. Um, I might show a couple clips of me being on the water. Yesterday I was out on the creek, caught some speckled trout, some redfish, and uh, first time ever, kept a few specks for the table. I've never eaten them before, so I'm excited to try it out. And in case you missed the last video, here's a few clips just to uh, pick you up to speed. Ooh, this bank right along here looks really good. There's a nice bend in the river. Looks like it drops off over here to the right a little bit. Oh, there's one. Nice. Surprised me a little bit. Nice. They gotta be 14 inches to keep. It's about 14 and a quarter. So I guess we're gonna keep this guy for the table. I've actually never tried speckled trout, so it's gonna be interesting. Oh, there's another one. This one feels a little bit bigger. Eh, well, probably about the same size. Beautiful. Looks like we got dinner. All right, well, we got back pretty late last night and I was exhausted after being on the water all day fishing, but uh, we've got four beautiful trout fillets right here and we've got some olive oil, black pepper, salt, garlic, and lemon standing by and ready to go. We'll turn the oven on to 375 and we'll wrap everything in the tin foil, pop it in the oven for about 10, 15 minutes and uh, we'll be ready to taste some of this trout. All right, and just like that, lunch is served. I'm excited. All right, let's uh, take our first bite. I also got some Triscuits here, which uh, I love. So just sometimes just take a little piece of fish, put it on a Triscuit, just like that. Roasted garlic. Mmm, really tasty. Hmm. You know, I would say that this fish kind of looks like like small like sea bass fillets, but kind of has more of like 
an in-between taste between like a walleye, which is kind of weird because that's a freshwater fish, and um, like a striped bass, I guess. It's really tasty, don't get me wrong. Very close to redfish too. Mm. And I, the reason I did like a simple recipe is because I didn't want to cook it in a way that would like overpower the actual flavor of the fish. I really wanted to taste the, the flakiness, the flavor of just the fish itself. Could have also added some butter too. Ooh. Mm, mm, mm. All right, well, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to finish up my lunch here and I'll uh, put all my tackle and equipment in the description below for how I caught this very tasty lunch. And as well as I'll put my camera equipment down in the description, check it out. Be sure to hit that sub button, like the video if you enjoyed. And uh, I definitely wanna do some more catching cooks I actually even invested in buying a like small little burner that I could like bring with me in the kayak or just like while I'm on the road in the truck. So, you know, who knows? I might come up with a video one day. We catch something to eat and I'm hungry. We'll just cook it right by the creek or right by the lake. So, um, yeah, that could be pretty cool. So stay tuned. Hit that sub button again. And like always, live to fish, fish to eat, fish to live. <laughs> See you guys in the next one.